Chicago's Auditorium Theater presents the first event in its National Geographic Live series. It is called Spinosaurus Lost Giant of the Cretaceous and it's going to feature National Geographic explorer and paleontologist Nizar Ibrahim. He's joining us now to tell us all about this fun event. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. Hello, Chicago. Oh, well, hello back to you. Okay, so tell people what they can expect when they show up for this. Well, it's a, a really immersive experience. So um, you basically get to travel back in time, 100 million years into the past, and you'll encounter some of the most amazing dinosaurs ever uncovered. Um, you'll also see what it's like to hunt for dinosaurs in the Sahara, one of the most hostile places in the world. Um, and you'll see some cutting edge uh, technology we use to basically resurrect these dinosaurs. So you can really come face to face with these animals in some amazing uh, recreations. Okay, this sounds like a great event for the whole family and uh, it's a very creative idea, idea as well. Tell me a little about yourself and how you got involved with this. Well, um, the dinosaur fascination really started when I was four or five years old. So I was hooked um, when I got my first book on dinosaurs mm -hmm. and I knew there and then that I would become a paleontologist. Um, and well, the, the rest is history. Um, my work with National Geographic also goes back a few years now. And um, I really enjoy sharing the excitement of science and exploration with, with people. So it's, it's really a lot of fun and there's a lot of energy, um, you know, in the air when you do these, these events. And, um, you know, it is really for the entire family. There's something for everyone. There's adventure, science, detective work, dinosaurs, that's always an easy sell, right? Um, travel to far flung corners of the world. So it's, uh, it's really, there's something for everyone. Okay, I have to say, this is something that um, I can see. You said you got involved when you were young, and there's so many young children who are obsessed with dinosaurs. So this sounds like the perfect setting. But I got to ask you a question, Nizar. Are you a fan of Jurassic Park? <laughs> Well, I mean, when the original movie came out, it was a big deal, of course, yeah. because it was the first time you really saw dinosaurs portrayed in a, you know, a modern way on the screen, right? And, and of course, these computer generated dinosaurs were pretty amazing. And I think, you know, of course, you can find lots of scientific inaccuracies in the Jurassic <laughs> Park can. movies. But I think, but I think we really should celebrate this, you know, I mean, you have to think about it. People go to the movies to see dinosaurs. They don't go to see Jurassic Park because they want to see a certain actor or actress. They want to see the dinosaurs. And there's really no other area in science that generates this level of enthusiasm, right? And excitement in people. And, you know, those are blockbuster movies. So I think as yeah. paleontologists, we should be really happy that our scientific discipline generates this much um, interest. So you'll be sitting in the front row when the next movie's released. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't confirm that, but um, you know, it's, it's certainly something that helps us. And whenever time. one of these new movies comes out, there's a whole new generation of kind of young budding so paleontologists. They'll watch the movies, but then they'll go to a museum and you know, learn more about the real science of, of dinosaurs. Yeah, so one thing leads to another. Sounds like a great show, Nizar Ibrahim with the National Geographic Live Series. Thanks for joining us. And I know a lot of people will be coming out to see you. So thanks again. Sure, looking forward to it. Yes.